Okay, Jay, this is the question for you is like, I'm, I'm visiting this 24 hours where all this innovation is happening, but literally what, what's happening at the very end? How does the challenge end? What do you, what's, I mean, th there's a winner. I mean, how does that dynamic work? Yeah, so everything is built to be self-reliant. So when, and, and Doug, I hope you'll appreciate when you look like you and me and we go into the poorest countries in the world, most people are gonna say, hey, give us some money, we'll participate. But that's not scalable. If you top down it with some cash first, it's not as challenging, it's not as scalable. So you have a 24 hour tournament prior to the 24 hour tournament and Madagascar and Tanzania were really good at, at, at driving the structure. So you have a 24 hour tournament, you need problem definition going in so that people know the rules of the game. Then you need to have tight guidelines about how these teams will play. They get 24 hours to come up with their ideas and then they present them to a panel of judges who are local. Those panel of judges rank them um, according to criteria that has been you know, globally set loosely uh, uh, around what we've agreed upon as a global, let's say, community. But each individual community gets to do their own thing. So there's peace, freedom, and then wild card because people break the rules. And that's, you know, we, we, we want to keep it tight to begin with, but then people start breaking the rules um, and they start doing things that you didn't expect them to do. So at the end of 24 hours, you have a local ranking of what they thought were local priorities. And it's funny, Nat smiled at me at the end and he said, my favorite didn't make the top three. And that's good because then you, th these these ideas don't die. They're, 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 they're ideas that come from the front lines of what the world's going to be facing. And these people aren't wrong. They may need to keep working on their idea, but they're not wrong. You get a huge emphasis on pollution in some places. And you say, what does that have to do with climate change? Other people will take a look at carbon and trees. But a lot of that has to do with the strengths of the local community. Tanzania, for example, had really strong app developers. And so they were, a lot of their ideas have apps in them. So, Doug, you have a structure that's local that locals vote on, locals, um, uh, local participants, local communities, and they judge their own ideas. Then we pool the ideas. I think going forward, it'll be really exciting to see, A, what other people outside of those local communities think of these ideas. B, when people start talking to each other about improving things, then I think you're going to see some momentum and it'll give us the chance. You know, we promised them this was test and evaluation. It wasn't judgment day. Then it'll give us the chance to build tools that are more customized towards what we learned. So learning experience first. All right, Nat. So you obviously probably learned a lot yourself. And as you were seeing these things unfold and you're involved with these things, rarely do people get together and have these kind of brainstorming sessions and then learn from them. So that's fantastic. Anything that really stood out for you, Nat, that you might take back and kind of help you do what you do? Yes. I mean, the people, uh, the idea that they were recognized, the recognition that you are capable of having ideas that spread people on. And so that, are some, that is something that I realized that acknowledging the capability of individuals and giving them the opportunity, that was very, very poignant as people realized that, oh, we are being recognized. We've been part of the solution seekers. So that is something that I've picked up and they have, I mean, literally they have shown me that it's important that we recognize that this, there's, there's a pool, there's a lot of people there. I'll put it this way. You know, the underground water is very, very important, but it can never ever come up and say it's a spring until it breaks out of the, of the soil, out of the ground to come up. Then it becomes a spring. The ideas, the potentials are there, and the potentials are like the underground water. Mm. And until they break out to become a reality, there are still potentials. And so to become a spring, that is where them seeing that they have been recognized and acknowledged and, and, and allowed to come up with what they do, what they know, what they can contribute, that is very, very important. And that is something that I've picked up and I'm going to as I move forward, that is how I'm going to look at things even more. That give people the opportunity and let them work in a collaborative way, complementing each other, is what I was also span, panned out during the, the, the competition. There were teams, they were competing, but it was collaboratively, independently, but still doing things that 
and, and, and during the competition, there was this global moment. And that global moment was very, very instrumental in people seeing that, oh, we are not alone, which means people are independent, but are also dependent. And that getting the balance there, there was a solidarity that came out during that global moment. And people were really, really spent on that we are doing something, that our colleagues are also doing something there. And when we put them together, complementing each other, we'll come up with the solutions that is facing humanity. 